Hi everyone. I'm going to be starting a really fun thing called the Daily Dragonfly. And what this is, these are just little, uh, the way I start my day essentially. And I just do little small paintings before I sit down and do other work or whatever I need to do for the day to really get myself energized and feel, get into a creative, mindful spirit. So what I'm going to do is I've got some watercolors here. I use Winsor Newton types of pens I'm using, excuse me, uh, paint brushes are Princeton and this is a size 16. So what I've done here is I've added some water to my canvas. So I'm going to be doing a water on water type of painting today. I'm using watercolors, which is not my normal medium. So I'm just going to have a little fun and I'm going to go in and dip into my paint. So the watercolors I buy, um, they come in a tube, so you can use them right out of the tube or you can put them into a little container like this, a little palette, and start, um, I'm just going to put some paint down and you'll see there's water. Where the water is, the paint goes. So yeah, so I'm just going to have some fun here and put some of these wings in. See where I've got my water, what's going on here. Kind of get into the shape of the dragonfly wings. And really, I have been painting a dragonfly pretty much a day here um, for the last, I don't know, month or so. And I just thought I'd share how fun it is to creatively set up your daily creative practice. And this is as easy as it gets. Just putting a little water on your watercolor paper first. And if you're interested in what I use for watercolor paper, it is the Stonehenge Cold Press 140 pound. I found I like the cold press. It has a really fun texture, as you can see, coming through here. And then I'm just going to dip into some other colors that I like and let my dragonfly start to emerge. So here we go. It's as easy as that. I'm just dropping my tip of my paintbrush into some paint, which is purple, and now onto my dragonfly. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of outline some of these wings. And you can see I'm not being worried about, is it going to be perfect? Because that's not what a daily dragonfly is about. The daily dragonfly is about just getting yourself creative, woken up. If you need to recharge during the day, if you've had a rough day with meetings, that's what we need to do. Just spend a little time. You can do this at lunch. Get a small, lovely little small um, pad of paper. It'll be just that easy to start your day. And that really is all you have to do. You could be fine with that. One thing about watercolors, you do have to let it dry in between anything else you're going to do if you want to use, um, you know, any real detail. But I'm just enjoying the watery feeling of what we got going on here. So I'm going to add some more lines and some dots. You can see I've never changed size of brush and see how that went up there. I don't care. I'm not worried at all about, you know, perfection. That's not what this is about. But just, I'm just experimenting and having fun. I highly recommend this. I'll be doing this, well, daily-ish, maybe not every day, but I'm going to come onto my channel and either go live with this or, like today, just send a video out, um, kind of introducing what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And I hope you enjoy your day, have fun. Put a couple little eyeballs in here because they have big heads and big eyes. Ooh, I love that. Turquoise is my favorite color, so I'm going to go ahead and create some little dots. And there you have it, kind of a pretty little dragonfly. Now, of course, you can change the size of your brush. I always like to make sure I dry them off really well. Here's another one, a size six Princeton. These are, um, these brushes are synthetic, so they're very smooth, but they, Princeton does a really nice job in keeping um, a really nice tip on them, so you get a lot of really good details. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit about what that looks like. So let's see, what other color should we put on here? Let's put a little more aqua or maybe some green. Let's try some green. Mix it together. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll dry off my tip on a piece of paper toweling just so I can see how much liquid or paint content I have and how I've loaded my brush. 
It's a nice amount there. I'm going to wipe off this little trickle of water, which will trickle down and create a splotch, but let's just go in there and you can see how dainty a line I can get. And remember, this is water on water, so we've got the page of the book full of water. And so that's what I love about watercolor is look at all that beautiful movement. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to create another outline here. The more pressure you put down, the thicker line. So I'll show you what that looks like. You put pressure down, you get a thicker line. Pull up, and you get a really thin, beautiful little airy line. A little wisp, and that's where those wings attach to the dragonfly body. Press down, get some more. And we're just going to bring it around and up. And you can see how we're starting to get some definition on these wings. So these little wings kind of attach right up there in the center of the back but not fully. There we go. Okay, I'm digging that. I'm just going to add some more little lines in here. I don't want to overdo it because I'm just trying to recharge and get going for the day. That's why it's called the daily, and I'm going to say daily-ish dragonfly <laughs> because I don't know if I'm going to be um, on here every day or every other day, but oh, that's that's up to you guys. You let me know what you're interested in. And that is what I will do. Also, too, it doesn't have to be limited to dragonflies. If there's anything you want to paint, um, I can use acrylics. I can use watercolor. The one thing I love about watercolor, though, sort of instant gratification. And you can get all sorts of fun tools that you can use and paint at your desk during your lunch. If you need a creative break, just, uh, just to kind of regroup. If you've had a particularly hard day, um, my days tend to be nice and um, calm now that I am painting full-time and teaching painting. So I'm lucky in that way. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, I used to when I worked corporate. I would, uh, you know, kind of need a break. And I go and walk outside. That's also a great way to recharge your batteries. But a lot of times I'll just, now, I'll just hit the painting. Oh, it's a little kind of duskier color purple. I got a little green in there. All right, we're just going to dance some dots around. And uh, I think I'm just going to let it dry here and see what we end up with. And what's always fun is to see what it looks like later on once you have let it dry and finish. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this little tiny quick daily dragonfly. And I will see you soon. See you at the canvas. Bye.